Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Fernando Segovia and Juan Curbelo. This is a game from a Spanish championship played in 1968. Fernando Segovia had white pieces and he started with e4. Juan Curbelo played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3. d6, d4, all the standard moves. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, the neither of variation. Bishop to c4, e6, black is playing the Scheveningen structure. Bishop to b3, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, Curbelo castled kingside, queen to e2, preparing to castle queenside. Bishop to d7, and Segovia castled queenside b5, the pawn storm. On the queen side, black is not wasting time. a3, queen to c7, king to b1, knight to c6, and now g4. Rook from a to c8, f4, black to move, e5 was played. Knight takes on d4 should have been considered and after rook takes on d4, e5 then. Back to our game. e5, white to move, white knight can go to f5, but Segovia captured on c6, he had a different plan. Bishop to c6, g5. In this variation, Segovia is sacrificing a pawn. Knight takes on e4, knight takes on e4, Bishop takes on e4, attacking the rook. Rook from h to g1. Pawn takes pawn on f4. Bishop takes on f4. Bishop to g6. Black is a pawn up and doesn't stand much worse, does he? White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Segovia played h4, threatening h5, but now rook from f to e8 lining the rook with the white queen and threatening a discovered attack on the queen. White must be careful. So this is the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? What is the best square for the queen? Perhaps most people would move the queen of the e-file queen to h2. Seems like a sensible move. Do you agree? White is threatening h5. But the problem is, black would play bishop to h5, and black is okay. Back to our game. So how should white continue? Segovia spent time thinking about his next move, and then he played h5. This looks like a blunder. What do you think? Curbelo played bishop takes on g5, discovered attack on the queen. How come Segovia didn't see this move? Or maybe he did, but he wants his opponent to win. White to move. White definitely must move the queen to a safe spot. Do you agree? There was a surprise of epic proportions. Segovia played h takes on g6. Who does he think he is? Tal? By the way, this guy defeated Tal by sacrificing his queen. But not every day is Friday, is it? Well, play with the black pieces, Curbelo happily captured the queen on e2. g takes on f7 check, king to h8, Bishop takes on d6, queen to c6, rook takes on g5. For a sacrificed queen, white has two bishops. Generally, this is not enough. But white also has a dangerous spawn and an attack going, maybe. The game continued. Rook takes on c2, white to move. White is advised not to take the rook. Bishop to e5 was played. 
White bishops are a powerhouse. White is threatening checkmate. Bishop takes on g7 checkmate. Rook to c1 check. What would you do? To take the rook or to play king to a2? Segovia played king to a2. If rook takes on c1, then black wins by playing queen takes on c1 check and then after king to a2, queen takes on g5. Back to our game. King to a2. Black to move. If rook takes rook, then bishop takes on g7 checkmate. It is not clear how black should continue. If h6 is played, let's try h6, providing some air for the king. Then rook takes on c1. Queen must take the rook. And then rook takes on g7, threatening some deadly discovered check. If queen moves, say, to c5, attacking the bishop, bishop to c3, still threatening a deadly check, discover check. If queen goes to f5, then white can win in many different ways. Like check. And what is black going to do? King to h7, then rook takes rook. And if queen takes rook, what happens then? Then bishop to c2 check. Two bishops are stronger than the queen in this position, thanks to the pawn on f7. Well, there is only one way to continue, and that is queen to f5, and then bishop takes queen checkmate. Back to our game. So in a very difficult position, Curbelo played queen to h6, rook takes on g7, queen takes on g7, white to move, bishop takes queen was expected. There was a surprise. Rook takes on c1 was played. Black to move. If rook takes on c1, then pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Check. Mate. Back to our game. Rook to f8 was played, blocking the very dangerous pawn. White to move. How will you continue now? Segovia continued to amaze. He did not take the queen. He played rook to g1. Rook takes on f7. White played the move and black resigned. And the move is... What is the move? Bishop takes on f7. Black resigned. Why? Well, the rumor says he went to watch soccer match between Real Madrid and Barcelona. But for the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Queen takes bishop. Rook to g8. Checkmate. Well, that was a short line, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.